The Dorchester School District 2 School Board is also meeting tonight to talk about a review process that's happening with more than 100 books in the district. News 2's Raymond Owens is joining us live right now outside the DD2 offices. And Raymond, you're telling us more about tonight's meeting. That's right, Hannah. There's actually not a specific agenda item about the books uh, and, and about the book um, review process, if you will, but I am told some parents and even members of the ACLU uh, will be addressing the board about that issue. At the ACLU of South Carolina, we track book bans and challenges all over the state. We've seen a real uptick in the last three years. The group says they are concerned about the books that have been challenged in Dorchester too. The situation in Dorchester 2 stands out for the sheer quantity of books being challenged. 160 is, is the largest number we've seen in a single district yet. They also say the district has a process in place to review books and that process is not being followed. One key element is that you must be a parent or guardian of a student in the district. Another key element is that it goes up for review at the school level and then to a committee at the district level and then it can go to the board. What we're seeing here, unfortunately, is one person emailing in a spreadsheet saying, hey, check out all these books for me. And that's just not how it's done. At the last school board meeting, Superintendent Dr. Shane Robbins discussed the books being challenged. Dorchester 2 school board member Justin Farnsworth made a motion to have the district stop reviewing all these books since they were not submitted according to the policy. The board voted four to three against his motion. Farnsworth sent me a statement that says in part, quote, I support initiatives that ensure our school libraries remain as vibrant spaces where students can freely explore a rich tapestry of ideas, stories, and information. If any parent has concerns about specific library materials, I encourage them to follow the defined procedures for expressing their challenge. And uh, uh, those 160 books, that's just the books that are in Dorchester 2 schools. The actual list that was submitted uh, was actually nearly 600 books long. And Farnsworth said they want individual books that people have problems with individually submitted. Now, there's, the school board meeting tonight begins at 6 o'clock right here in Somerville. Live in Somerville, I'm Raymond Owens. Count on two.